Okay, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're gonna continue working on the scene and then we're gonna import the trees now and start working with them. So let's start with importing them. Let's go file and then let's go import. And then let's go to the our assets folder. And then we can see here we have the trees and then we have uh, these pine trees with different heights. So let's import all of them one by one. Click OK. It's saying that it have mental ray nodes, but that's OK. So we can see here if we frame on it. This is the first tree. It's eight meter. And then let's go import. And let's import this twenty meter. And then the last one is a one meter long tree. Okay. So now we have all of them. We can hide the model for now. We don't need to see it. And then uh, let's go to the hyper shade. Okay, so this is the shaders we have. So we have like all these shaders for the trees, but we want to simplify them now. And then we're going to have uh, and convert them to that uh, AI materials. So let's start with the bark with the main one. And then let's create a new shader. Let's click on Arnold. Let me expand this and then let's scroll down to AI standard surface. Then let's frame on it. Okay, and then let's call this uh, AI Pine Park or Trunk, we can say. Okay, and then for the color. Let's select the file and then let's select uh, our texture. So let's go source images, and then point textures, and then let's select that. This is the lodge ball point tree. Okay, let's click OK, and then uh, everything here is good. Just waiting to load the textures. Okay, everything here is good. We don't need to change anything in here. And let's go to the texture map just quickly. And then to see, so for it, we just have only the color map, which is that's fine. So that's what we're going to be using the diffuse. So you can see now connected all the other textures involved, but we're going to convert them to Arnold. We're not going to use them in the tray. Okay, so. Now we have it and then let's just uh, quickly remove the specular. We don't want it to be like reflective and shiny. So let's lower it down to zero for now. Everything else here is fine. We don't need to change anything. So then uh, let's look for though that um, the texture that have uh, that bark, the original one. Let's select the tree and then let's see which material is that okay so let's select objects with the material and then let's press 4 just to make sure we are selecting the correct one I think this is the smallest maybe let's try something uh, bigger okay so this is the correct one and then assign material to selection. And then we just go through them to select uh, not the leaves. We want to select the uh, actual tree barks like this. And then assign material to viewport. Select. And this will be basically replacing uh, all the materials uh, for the trees with the Arnold one. Make sure we got everything. This one have okay. Let's keep going. So it's already assigned. Okay, so I'll press six, and then so we have here should be the Arnold now selected, which is perfect for different trees. Okay, we want to keep them on top of each other like this because that's going to work really well for scattering. Okay, and now the other leaves is still the 
uh, Maya regular ones, so that's fine. We're gonna change it right now with the new pine leaves. So let's do the same thing. Let's remove the, the clear up the tab here. Let's make a little bit more space. Let's expand it. Okay, so the next thing is let's create another material and that's gonna be for our uh, leaves. So the leaves, we have two leaves uh, shaders. So we're gonna create two. So the first one, is, let's name it, uh, you can see here, leaves one and leaves two. So let's name it the same thing. So AI leaves one. And then for the color, let's uh, let's select the diffuse one green. And then click OK. Leave everything the same here. It's all good. And uh, for the specular, we can adjust it later. And then let's scroll down to the geometry here. And this is here we're going to plug the opacity map in this opacity. So let's click on it. File. Let's select the green. Let's see, this is the we're doing the fuse, and then we're gonna check the green one alpha, not the green two. Just wanna make sure we're picking the same uh, leaves. Okay, so we select it, and then let's make sure we change this to row, the color space. Okay, so this is good, and then. After that, we basically have it good to go. We just need to reduce the specular. We don't want it to be, to be this uh, high spec. And then let's increase the roughness a little bit. So this way, the weight, we're just reducing the intensity of the specular and the roughness. This is like become really like reflective. And this roughness gets, gets like the specularity gets not as intense, more rougher. So something around uh, 256 will do. For now, we always can change these settings once we once we get uh, lighting correct and all this uh, other uh, setups. Okay, so now let's select everything with leave one, and then replace it with leave one the AI. So let's go through. So this is leave one. Select object. Make sure selecting, and then assign material selection. Leave two, we leave it. And this is, this is leave one. So select, select the object with materials and then assign. Leave two, leave one, select object with materials and then as well assign. And this is leave one, select the objects and then assign as well. Leave two, leave one. Oh, this is the AI one, so I don't want to assign it to the same. Okay, so this is, seems like uh, we got we got this part. So you can see now it's getting replaced. I just want to make sure this one. Let's select this uh, pine one, and then make sure we assign the AI trunk. Okay, so that's fine. It's no problem. So, okay, let's keep going now. So now let's create uh, leaf two, which is basically we can duplicate this shader and then uh, just uh, change the materials, change the textures. So edit, duplicate, shading network. And then let's select it. So already name it AI leaves two. So that's good. And then let's go and uh, replace uh, diffuse green two. And then let's go to the alpha. And then it's the same thing. We, we pick the correct alpha for it. So this is good now. We have the new shader. And then let's go to leaves two. Anything say leaves two here. We select it. Let's make sure we zoom out here and we see. Okay, so you can see at the bottom there. Assign material selection. Leaves one, leaves two, select object with material and then assign. And then leaves two here as well, select object with material and then 
assign and then leave to select object with material with assign okay so this is now assigned everything so we can press six yeah same everything here is good so what we can do is we can go to edit delete and use nodes so this way it clears everything that we're not using so this way we know that everything here is being used which is the ground the trunk and then the two leaves so that's perfect so now now we know now everything is working here so what we can do quickly is uh, we can go to these trees and then sp spread them apart quickly and then we can do a quick test render just to make sure they're rendering correctly so we can just focus on all of them or one and a half like doesn't matter too much then let's render okay so you can see the opacity is not reading and that's totally uh, normal in our node because we need to change some of the settings on the geometry itself so let's uh, work on that so first uh, let's go to the hyper shade again and this time let's select uh, anything that says with leaves and then let's uh, control a and then go to the we want to make sure we're going to the shape node under arnold and then let's under the polymesh check opaque so this way it's going to make a transparency it's going to read the transparency map and let's make sure we're selecting leaf 2 select object so it's the second leaves let's apply the again opaque to it so that's good okay so now let's render let's save and then let's render and see what's the result so you can see some of these trees get changed like this one this one didn't pick up let's solve the issue let's see why it didn't pick up so you can see when we select it we can see here it's changed to opaque so let's change that same on this tree uh, this tree and this tree so now we have all of them so let's uh, save and then let's render just make sure everything is good okay so now we have all these trees uh, basically rendering correctly so that's perfect so now let's save and then uh, let's put the trees back where they belong so let's zero out all their uh, values and then let's uh, group them and call this pine trees original save in the next video we're just we're just gonna keep working on these trees and then we're gonna scatter them on the ground and uh, work with their scale and uh, arrangement so see you in the next one